Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, Lionel here, and uh, today I do not have a. Uh, this time I don't have a review for you. Actually, um, a lot of people has been have been doing it, so um, I, I've decided to do a top ten most complimented fragrance. Um, you know, somebody asked me that question, so I just decided, hey, why not just do a video for it um, while I'm here? So, um, you know, over the course of wearing fragrances, I mean, consistently over the last uh, two years. Um, you know, and, and growing at a lot over the last year, um, heard of fragrances where um, I get unsolicited compliments. So um, these are fragrances that I've never had to ask anyone about, you know, initially. I mean, someone has said something and then I've responded and, you know, tried to ask them what they were feeling, uh, what they thought about it, um, you know, for review purposes. Uh, but these are fragrances that from the bat just always always I've, I've failed to wear of one of these and uh, and not receive a compliment um, at least once um, so this is uh, an honest um, unadulterated um, top 10 list um, no angle here I don't want you to run out and buy any of these um, so you know I, I don't have a, a dog to hunt in this thing here so uh, with uh, no further ado uh, let's get it going. Number 10 uh, comes from the house of Chanel, and it is uh, Chanel Allure Own. Um, compliments galore all the time. Uh, every time I wear it, I get a compliment. You smell great. You smell wonderful. What are you wearing? Um, you know, um, always from mature women. So, you know, I am a, I'm a little bit older than most of the reviewers, I would, I would think. I mean, you know. Other than the obvious guys, um, but um, you know, I'm, you know, mid thirties, so um, you know that's the type of uh, environment I'm in. Those are the type of people I'm around. So I, you know, I'm not around uh, high school girls or young women or young college girls. I'm around, uh, you know, you know, thirty to you know, fifty year old women uh, in corporate America. So um, that goes number ten. Number nine uh, goes from the house of Bond. And it is uh, New Harlem. Um, compliments galore. Funny thing about it is, I've typically gotten compliments from uh, older women. So um, that one also is a winner with uh, you know older women, you know, forties, late thirties, uh, upward to fifty. I said I smelled wonderful. So um, that is number nine. Number eight comes from the house of uh, Christian Dior, and it is Dior Own. Um, Every time I get compliments, top to bottom. I know some people talk about the iris and other things, but you know, initial spray. I walk in, I, you know, I'll tell you how I do it. Um, typically, I'll, I'll keep my fragrance with me because my commute is about an hour. I'll spray it because I really want to get the whole experience. I want people to experience the entire fragrance. It's, you know, it's development, it's dry down, all of that stuff. So typically, I'll spray it right before I get out of the car, and then you know, I'll, I'll walk into work. Um, so. You know, people are meeting me on the elevator, and I'm really getting, they're really getting top notes. Other people are meeting me some other places. So, um, anyway, um, you know, someone um, followed me and asked me, you know, what was I wearing? And, you know, they loved it. So, said they were going to buy it for her uh, her significant other. So, uh, I told her it was quite feminine uh, that you can find that at Sephora. And, um, I don't have much left, so I'll definitely be trying to get another bottle of this one. Um, that was number eight. Number seven uh, comes from the house of Tom Ford. It is my favorite. Um, it is my favorite from the Tom Ford private line, and it is Amber Absolute. Um, one day I wore this, and um, only once have this happened before. Um, someone found me the next day. Um, they got where I worked. Say, you know, who is this black guy who works over in semi flight? And anyway, they um, she found me, came and said, hey. I just want to tell you yesterday I, I smelled your perfume in the elevator. She said you were out of the elevator and I got on right after you and someone told me it was you. I just want to tell you how great you smell. You that was wonderful. So that was probably the most um you know sought after compliment, I guess, uh, someone's ever given me. So uh Amber Absolute goes there. Um number seven. Uh Number six comes from the house of uh, Frederick Ma, and this is just a small decant. I have a little bit left of Musk Ravageur. Um, um, story behind this one was, I mean, I, I mean one compliment that, I, that, I, that really stood out was um, I went to get a flu shot, and I had this on. I was in a dry down. Then I had it on for maybe six, seven hours by then. It was about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, 
And someone said, who is that that smells so wonderful? So the woman said, oh, it could be my, my lotion. She said, no, it didn't happen until he walked in. So, um, you know, that was, you know, that, you know, I, I don't look for compliments, but, you know, when you get those kind of compliments, you're like, you know, you, you get, you get, a, you know, your chest swells up a little bit. You know, you, you kind of get like, a, what's my man name off of uh, Bugs Bunny, that rooster. You know, you kind of get like that guy. Uh, you know, you got that, you got that cock swelling type of oh, 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 kind of thing. So anyway, that's uh, number six. Uh, number five, uh, again, comes from the house of Dior. And I happen to get, um, it used to be the other way around, but over the last six months, I get more compliments with this one uh, than I do Dior own. Um, but, um, you know, they're not too far from one another as it relates to the compliment factor. Again, you know, the iris is toned back. A little bit more, it's a bit more sweet, a lot more dense, projects a little less. But when you step in somebody's, if they're, they step into your bubble, they're going to compliment this very, very sexy. And it's going to be in my designer of the week. I'm going to cheat with this one. Um, number four. Number four comes from the house of Therry Mugler, and it is Pure Havon. This is probably one of my favorite scents. I mean, if, if I was to do a top five today, this is snuck in there. Um, I like it a lot more than Pure Mauve. Um, and my coworkers absolutely love it. I got one that always says, oh, you got that one. I love the one that smells like grapes. For some reason to her nose or on my skin to her nose, she gets a lot of the, the fruity notes kind of in this one. Uh, Pure Havana is a winner. You you have to get this. If you can get this one for reasonable still, um, get it, man, because it is it's just a delicious fragrance to me. Um, oddly enough, uh, excuse me, I had about 10 mils of uh, tobacco vanilla that I used over the last... I don't know, a year and a half or whatever. I got maybe one compliment on that thing. This one, always. Every time I wear it, I get a compliment. So, yeah, take it for what it's worth. Maybe it's just my skin, but that one performs better for me. Um, number three comes from the House of Creed. Um, it is Green Iris, the classic. Uh, what is there to say about Green Iris? Tweed, I'm going to... I re-review this one again. It is still, you know, my my Paul Gasol of fragrances. Uh, just, you know, pretty much a great game. This is this is this is my go-to. This is your wedding scent. This is your office scent. This is your sign. This is Green Irish is your signature scent um, for you know the, the mature man. So um, I don't get any longevity, any projection. I don't get any of those problems with this one. Um, so could be just lucky with the batch. I've had two separate batches, and both of them worked for me so far. So, uh, Green Irish Tweed gets number three. <laughs> number two, believe it or not, man. Number two. That's it, man. Garnet. I, I get the most beautiful compliments with this one. Oh, you smell sweet. Oh, you smell so good. Oh, what is that? Oh, my gosh. That's one of my favorites you wear. Why do you, you know, you always, you know, when you wear that, when you just... You just always smell so good to me. Like those are the type of compliments I get all the time from coworkers, from other people. They just absolutely love it. For some reason, uh, this guy has has made a fragrance that are just very, very pleasing and pleasant to the opposite sex. Um, someone gave me a very good description. He says sometimes I don't know if it's La Nuit or sometimes I don't know if it's Allure Home Sport. I mean, it, it is probably a great mixture of it. I, what I said was it's a mixture of Allure Home, Allure Home Sport, and Edition Blanche all together. You kind of get you know, the, sort of the creaminess of of that one, but some of it is kind of arid at the same time. Yet it's kind of citrusy, but yet it's kind of sweet, vanillic. I mean, it is it is just a great, great fragrance for me. Still one of my favorites. I'm, I'm not. I don't. I have no dog in, in the hunt to hype this one up. Just on my skin, this is always, always complimented. I've yet to ever, 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 ever wear this and not get uh, at least two compliments. So number one. <laughs> Creed, baby. Ventus. See that? Uh, this is a decant I got from my man, uh, John. I do business with John, ITL, uh, ITM LLC. Wonderful, wonderful brother. Uh, I got to get with him on some uh, some other things he's doing, man. Love him to death. Uh, as it relates from a business perspective, we've never interacted personally, but the guy's a great businessman. Packages well. Uh, always, always takes good, very good care of you, man. Uh, I, I really appreciate you. On this one, uh, he gave me my first Green Iris Tweed. I think he gave me even my, no, uh, 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 Ashton gave me my first Melissa period, but he gave me my first Green Iris Tweed, gave me my first this. So thank you for what you do for the community with the splits, brother. Um, um, and he got me, I got this Aventus from him, and 
this is the smoky batch. This isn't the the hyped up batch that uh, you know I wouldn't call. It, I mean, I don't mean hyped up in a bad way, but this isn't the, the batch that uh, Mickers uh, and those guys are boasting about. This is the I don't know what number it is, John. You can tell me. Uh, but I've had three separate ones. Originally, I got a uh, uh, I got some from uh, what's my man name uh, Spencer, and then. Um, you know, I ran out of that and then I bought some off somebody. Somebody can tell me. I bought some off somebody, um, about 10 mils or so. Um, uh, so I got like 10 mils then I got 10 mils again. Or I got 15 mils then I got 10 mils and then I got this one. Um, this is definitely bottle worthy. Um, gorgeous. I mean, compliments galore. Compliments galore. Um, projects on me forever. Lasts forever versatile as ever like green iris tweed is you know you can't pull it off in the winter but it just doesn't this one because of the smokiness is great in the winter because of that apple pineapple uh rose vetiver uh combination it's great in the summer refreshing smoky uh, i love it it is one of my most complimented fragrances um it is my most complimented fragrance um so let me tell you what's not on the list killians i love them love them to death but i, I mean i i've gotten maybe a couple of compliments from cruel intentions um i've yet to get an unsolicited compliment on sweet redemption and i've yet to get a uncomplimented uh um compliment on rose oud so uh for some reason i love those fragrances i love that line still my favorite line but uh you know creed is vying for that with jardine and uh this royal oud man that i've got to experience but I love them. I love my, my Killians, but as of now, I've still yet to get, uh, you know, any major compliments with them. Maybe maybe a handful of unsolicited, but the ones I have here are always unsolicited, always complimented. Not a day goes by that I wear these that someone doesn't say something. So, anyway, that's my top 10. Uh, let me know what you think. Peace.